Hey there, it's Board Game Dave. Welcome to another Solo Plays Sunday. Today, I'll be soloing a game called The Red Cathedral, which is a fantastic small box game with resource management, area majority, and a rondelle by Devere Games. In this game, you're largely going to be moving these dice around a rondelle to collect resources, which you'll then deliver to the construction site to help build the Red Cathedral for Tsar Ivan the Terrible. This is a game that I've had for a while now, and I've enjoyed playing it both multiplayer and solo, and it was recently the weekly challenge for the BG41 solo uh, Facebook group, which kind of encouraged me to get it back out for a solo play. Before we begin, I thought you should know that Solo Play Sundays are for charity. At the end of the game today, I'll donate my score to the Eden Myanmar Anti-Trafficking Organization. I'll talk more about the Eden Project at the end of the video, but if you have a recommendation for a charity I should check out or a game I could play for the next Solo Play Sunday, please let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, here we are all set up for a solo play of the Red Cathedral. Now, I'm going to be honest, it's been a while since I've played this, especially solo. So uh, I'm going to try my absolute best to get these rules right. And there are a lot of small things to remember, but uh, we're going to try our best. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually claim one of these cathedral sections. I'm going to go right here above Ivan and grab this workshop tile. I'm going to pay two rubles. And I'm going to put that, I could put it on my blue, which is my color. I get some special benefits with that, but I'm going to put it on yellow, actually, because I have an immediate thing I'd like to do. Oh, right. And I always forget that immediately activates when you uh, upgrade your workshop tile or claim one. So I do get a, a purple jewel. I'll stick that right there. Cool. All right. So that's my turn. It's really simple. Uh, Ivan's turn. We're going to take that uh, white die and move it that many spaces. One, two. Nothing happens there. Uh, Ivan does not get rubles or reputation, but it would take reputation if it landed in a space like that or that. So anyway, we'll go ahead and roll that now. So, oh my gosh, what kind of roll was that? <laughs> I launched that across the table. There we go. All right, so we did that. We did that. Fantastic. And now we're going to flip this over. And Ivan's going to do this. It's going to take all the resources it has and put them into the construction site. Now, this order is just random and very uh, not ideal for Ivan because it has no resources in the construction site. We'll talk about that more later. But that's its term. All right. Back to me. Now, I do want to move that yellow die so I can take that white die benefit. So I think the idea is going to be, yeah, and then I'll have everything I need for this, which is actually really, really awesome. So we're going to move yellow. One, two spaces. I'm going to get two stone times two, since there's two dice there. One, two, three, four. Give those dice a roll. All right, like so. Four and a one. Awesome. So I got my resources from the market. I can also uh, activate the top or bottom of this, which is selling... Uh, goods or buying goods, or I can't buy anything. Well, let me do this first. I'm gonna activate my workshop uh, since I moved my yellow die, and I'm gonna get two brick, like so. So my supply is actually very, very full. I might be okay with actually selling something since I have seemingly plenty of resources. So I'll go ahead and do that. Well, hmm, yeah, I'll do that. I don't probably don't need that much stone. I'll sell it for one rupee. Actually, I can do that again. You know what? I'll sell another one. Okay. Yep. I can do that as many times as I want. Again, as long as I pick top or bottom. So I'll do that. So I'm back to my three rubles. All right. Ivan's turn. We're going to move that red die four spaces. One, two, three, four. And now it is going to go ahead and get that one reputation. Uh, like so. And then we're going to roll that die. Okay. Still four. Like that. All right. So we flip that over. And then it's going to go ahead and claim a tile. And it wants to claim a cathedral section that's either above me or on a base. Now, obviously, it can do this. And again, since this is not a reputation uh, ornament or a workshop tile, it's going to go ahead and just discard that over here. So Ivan's got a cathedral space above me and below me. Interesting. All right. So that's the end of Ivan's turn. Back to me. So I can deliver resources there that's that b action but i can deliver three at a time and i don't know if i really want to do that although what i could do i suppose is complete that section and do an ornament right there which gives me more influence toward end game scoring so that might be interesting although i'd like to maybe save that oh no i can't save it i'd have to spend it so it's only three what's that called 
recognition. Hmm. It gets me a ruble. It would subtract one um, uh, recognition point from Ivan since I'm building on top of him. So let me think about that. All right, there's a lot I want to do here. And as much as I want to complete that section right now and kind of, uh, you know, punish Ivan a little bit, I also have the resources for this one right here. So I think what I'll do is claim that tile instead, that section of the cathedral. So I'll take this, put this here. I've got the coins to put this somewhere. One, two, three, four. I could put it on blue, but that would give me what? Four brick, which is kind of overkill. Hmm. I'll go ahead and spend it on blue, okay? Because that one gives me more flexibility. Uh, of course, I can move the blue or the white dice uh, forward one space for each ruble I pay. So I'll go ahead and spend all three, and that immediately gives me one brick. All right, that was my turn, was just claiming that cathedral space. Ivan's going to uh, move this two spaces, one, two. Again, it's going to go ahead and get one reputation there. Awesome. We're going to roll those dice. One and a six. All right. And then what's it going to do? It's going to get four recognition points. So there you go up to eight. Now, if I uh, interchange recognition points and prestige points, I'm so sorry about that. Recognition points are these little ones. And then prestige points are the big ones right here, which you can get by doing uh, certain things like ornaments and stuff like that. So all right, that was Ivan. It is back to me. I do still have this, and I probably do want to kind of empty out my storage. This is a very strict storage system. Storage system? I don't know why I just said, but I do think I should start working on this. And in two construction actions, I could finish that and that, which would be pretty epic. Plus, I need those coins. And I don't see anything immediately pressing, although honestly, let me think. Moving that to here would get me a uh, purple gem and it would activate those two bricks so that could be really strong and I could maybe sell something uh, in between that so I'm not filling up my storage space with too much stuff I think I'll do that instead actually yeah let me move this one space there you go uh, I'm gonna get a purple gem okay from the market it's still a one and then I'm going to do this first I think I'll sell some of my stuff I don't need I don't seem to need these two bricks so I'll get rid of them for now that's one two brick for two rubles and now I'll go ahead and activate my workshop for yellow which is the white die which is two bricks so hey that was that was pretty nice what I do I, I just got two coins for for free actually no if that's the case I'll go ahead and sell that uh, third brick as well and then take those two. I like that better. And I did re-roll that yellow die. All right. That's it for me. Moving over to here. We've got the blue die moving. It's going to go one, two, three, four. No uh, recognition there for Ivan. Roll the dice. Two and one. All right. And then we're going to flip that over. And it's going to get four resources. It does not matter to Ivan, by the way, which four resources it gets. Because um, basically for Ivan, all resources are wild. So... We'll put that right there. All right. And again, this is going to be a little interesting this next turn, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Now, let's see. I can move one space here and get three gold and a brick, but uh, I don't think that's going to be moved at all. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on constructing. I need to start delivering things to the construction site, which is my B action. Let's go brick and two stone. Actually, Hmm. If I want to decorate that, I need wood, actually. That's something I'd have to keep an eye out on. And I could get two wood right now. I could get two wood and two brick. But again, I don't have the room for that. So I'll just go ahead and do this delivery. Like so. Although yellow dye is going to move. And then how am I going to get wood? Yikes. Should I do that? Let's see. One, two, three. I, I just don't have the storage for it. So... No, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Just go ahead and deliver three goods. That doesn't quite finish that section of the cathedral yet. All right. Yellow die is going to move one space again. No recognition for the AI. So flip that over. And then here we go. So this specific part, uh, this card is going to say construction, right? Place all the materials on top of this card on the cathedral sections, but there are no resources obviously on that card. So I believe I'm almost sure I'm reading this right. We're not gonna do anything with that until this next round. Now it's my turn. I do want wood if I'm trying to do a wood decoration, although I could always do that later. I think what I want to do right now, oh, I don't have enough stone. Now that was stupid. 
I was thinking I'd be able to finish this and that all at once, but I need more stone to do that. How do I get all the way over there? One, two, three, four, five. That overshoots it. Darn it. Well, I miscalculated. I suppose I could claim another section. I've got red. I've got a clay and two purples. So I could claim that section there. I hope to get some wood later, or I could claim that section there. But I'm not really seeing any substantial benefit to any of these actions right now. I, I really botched it. I thought I had more stone than I do. One, two, three, four. Well, let's see. I could send this yellow to there, get a recognition, and pay a coin to deliver one resource to the construction site. That would finish that. I like that. That seems like an okay move. Plus, I get two brick for that. So, yeah, I like that plenty, I guess. So, I'll go... Uh, yellow, one, two, three, four. We're gonna stick that right there and go ahead and roll it. All right, that gives me one recognition. Uh, I'm going to activate my white die, which gives me two brick. But by the way, that's regardless of however many dice are there. So it's always gonna be just that market tile. And then I will go ahead and for just one time, play, pay my one ruble to deliver to the construction site. That'll be one of these purple gems right there. So cash that all in like so that gives me three rubles excellent and seven uh recognition i love it and that is the first section done on the cathedral seven gets me all the way to 10 recognition looking awesome very very cool all right so that was a nice productive feeling turn i've completed that first section the game ends when somebody completes their sixth section and then the other player gets to go so all right, we're here at the end of uh, the first AI sort of round, as it were. So we're going to go ahead and make sure I do this right. The first thing we're going to do is place an ornament. So unfortunately, Ivan's going to go ahead and hop onto my building tile, which is kind of a bummer, but that's what it wanted to do anyway. So I kind of opened that up for Ivan. Unfortunately, maybe I shouldn't have been so anxious to finish that section, but uh, that is done. And then he did uh, place an ornament, so he gets one uh, uh, prestige, which by the way, he's at one. I think that would just take him to two prestige, which was kind of, uh, underwhelming for poor Ivan over there. And then next we're going to take these five workshop tiles, shuffle them up and place them back out on these five cards. And that's all we have to do. Oh wait, sorry. Then we actually take Ivan's turn. So that's really important. You reset, you uh, put an ornament out and then you continue playing Ivan's turn. So that is uh, kind of important. Yes. So all right, here we go. We've got red, white, and yellow, and blue, and green. So we're going to carry on with Ivan's next turn. Red is going to move six spaces. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and re-roll that. It's not going to get any of that wood, but it is going to uh, deliver all resources in storage to the construction site. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't know what I was worried about. I really thought there was going to be eight resources there, but nope. So there we go. One, two, three, four. All right. That was not as clunky as I thought it was going to be. Back to me. So what am I trying to work on? I need, well, I'm not sure what I need now. I guess stone to finish that. I'd also like to decorate this, which costs another stone. And I've got, I had a leftover gem. Now I don't. So what I need is stone. How am I going to get there? One, two, three, four, five, six. That red die could be my ticket. But before I do that, I wonder if I could like put this like on the red one, claim another cathedral cathedral section. I think I might like to do that. I always love putting the dice, you know, uh, uh, workshop upgrades on top of other dice. And I have plenty of coins to do that. Uh, and I see that um, the AI is not going to move the red die for a while or for a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll, I will take one of these banners, place it right here. And another benefit is that that opens up more storage space for me, which is awesome. So pay my two rubles and plop that right down here on my red uh, die space. And I keep forgetting, of course, I activate that now. So I get a gold into my storage. That's a great turn. All right. Back to the AI. Ivan's going to move the two spaces. One, two. We're going to re-roll that die. There you go. Ivan is going to go ahead and get himself a recognition point. So we are tied there at 10. 
and then it's gonna claim a spot. Now, once it claim a spot right above me, uh, it can't do that, so it's gonna go on the base. Now, it does say, I think in here it says I, hmm. It doesn't really specify, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it the one that will give them the most recognition points, which is this one over on the end. So this, again, just gets discarded, and there we are. That was Ivan's turn. Let me see, I did move this, yes. All right, cool. Wonderful, back to me. So what was the plan? We're gonna move red all the way around, get some stone, yes? Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, I'm gonna get two stone. I'm gonna get one gold, and I have enough space for all this, and then I can do some buying or selling. I think I do really wanna buy a, um, I wanna buy some kind of gem, one, two. I'll buy a green one since I don't have any green. I'd like to build an ornament here if I can, although I just realized that's also gonna take more than one cathedral or construction action, right? Because it's a stone and a purple gem, right? Plus a stone to decorate, and then plus a gem if I wanna, uh, you know, enhance that decoration, which is how I get those uh, prestige points. So, okay, I've got resources, that's all right. And I have another construction set that can take some of my excess if I have it, so not to worry about that. Next, we're gonna move yellow. One, two, three, four, five. No recognition there, but we will roll the dice like so. And AI is going to get four. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. Back to me. By the way, it's worth pointing out, of course, at any time I can lose one prestige for two rubles. I can lose one prestige to re-roll all dice in a, in a section. And of course, uh, spend my rubles to move up my dice some extra spaces. So some extra flexibility there I can choose. So what's next? I need to start delivering things up there. Um, you know what? I don't even have three resources to deliver. That is very curious because I don't have uh, wood and I don't have another purple gem. I should have bought a purple gem, but I'm going to go ahead and roll with it. Maybe I'll just claim another uh, spot here. This one looks okay since I've got bricks and I like to claim spots above Ivan. That way if I finish it, he loses recognition. That seems okay. Let's go ahead and take my last banner. Stick here. Oh, you know what? I don't have rubles, but you know what I can do? So I'll go ahead and claim this, right? I've got this workshop tile I want to place, but I'm going to go ahead and lose one uh, uh, prestige, which this is always kind of more complicated than you would think it is. I'm going to go down to the last prestige here to get two rubles, and that's gonna afford me uh, the two I need to go ahead and place it somewhere. I can place it on green to get a gold. I can place it on white to get two rubles. That's pretty good. I think I'll do that instead. So I'm gonna put that here. Uh, oh, sorry, my goodness. I keep thinking that when I put it on a white die, I'm gonna get the white die benefit. It's just a prestige. So it uh, doesn't really matter where I put it, but I think well, what am I going to move next? I think I might move green next. I'm more likely to do that. So I'll spend my two rubles and I get one recognition. So I'm right back where I started. Not a big deal. We're going to move the blue die four spaces. One, two, three, four for Ivan. Give it a re-roll. There's no recognition there, but he's going to go ahead and take four resources. Again, I'll just take some brick, I suppose. One, two, three, four and plop it right down there for you. All right. And it's back to me. So so, so now I've got a ton of resources and I can certainly work on building these, uh, you know, window middle sections. But here's the catch. If I do complete one of these, like this one's very tempting right now to complete, then in two turns, Ivan's going to go ahead and take his window ornament and plop it right on my cathedral section, which I don't want. You can build those ornaments on you or an opponent's uh, space. So what I really want to do instead is work on this one since that's a roof and Ivan won't decorate the roof before he does his two windows. The problem is I still don't have any wood. So I think I'm more in like a stall, you know, uh, position right now where I need to, I just need to stall, but well, I suppose what I could do is move my blue here to get two wood. And before I do that, I could, uh, you know, trade in two of one resource for one of another to make space for it. But I would get a brick from here too. Oh, you know what? That works out pretty well because I don't really need that much brick, do I? <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's what I'll do instead. We're going to take this guy. We're going to move it one, two, three. Okay. A lot of things are going to happen and then I'll re-roll. So first I'm going to get a brick. Next, I'm going to activate this guy and I'm going to trade in four 
of my brick for two resources. And I don't believe they have to be the same. I believe it's just four of the same four, two resources. So now, now I can really think about what I want. Of course, these gems are very hard to come by and I need two purple and maybe having a green wouldn't hurt later on as well. So I'm gonna do that sort of like so. So that was four for two. And then finally, I'm gonna go ahead and take that market wood like that. So I did everything I wanted to in the order I wanted to, and that felt awesome. That was a good turn. Next, we're gonna move that green die one space. Boom, whoops, sorry about that. Okay. We're gonna roll, making a whole mess of everything. There we go. Ivan's gonna get one recognition like so. And then we're going to deliver. Now, when Ivan starts constructing for the first time here, here he goes, right? He's always gonna go bottom to, sorry, bottom to top, left to right, left to right, bottom to top. So uh, that means we're gonna start right here and deliver. And again, uh, the resources don't matter. It's just the quantity. So four resources, four brick, that counts for Ivan, which means he's moving up eight recognition. Holy smokes to 23. Dang, we're flipping that one over. Excellent, but that is a door that I could decorate, right? A door costs wood, and if I want to spruce it up with some gems, I can. So that's probably something I'm gonna wanna be doing in the future. Actually, that's what I could do this turn. Instead of completing a window section that he will decorate on his next turn, I can go ahead and decorate that door, which I think is a pretty sweet idea. I need to try to get my influence here as much as possible. If you know about the end game, of course, um, each tower is worth two points per each completed uh, section, as well as one point per each ornament. And then whoever uh, did the most constructing in each tower gains the most points. Uh, and you get one point per uh, banner and ornament. It's a little confusing. We'll talk about that at the end. But all that to say, I do want to try to assert my influence in this tower section. So it's my turn. I am going to, uh, I'm tempted to just go all out here. Why not, right? So if I do this, actually, this would be really awesome. Although I'm spending a lot to do, I'm going to spend a wood and a green gem and a purple gem. That lets me build a door and get three uh, prestige right now. And it's a pretty good time to do it since I'm all the way back there. And before I do that, and I believe this is correct, the second time I played solo, I started to realize, you know what? I can manipulate my recognition prestige a lot more than I have been. I'm going to move back one, right? Lose a prestige, as it were, to get two ruples, and then my... Or rubles and then my turn is going to be to build this decoration for a wood like that and two gems bop 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 and i'm going to go up three uh prestige so now i'm skipping to here to there to there so that's a big catch up for me i think it's a great turn all right and here we are ivan's going to try to put an ornament out but there are no windows for him to decorate which is awesome i was really hoping that would work so we ignore that part of uh, ivan's step we don't even give him a reputation or a, a prestige for that and we go ahead and start shuffling these up and then we'll uh resolve his first turn of the third you know, round or cycle or whatever it is for Ivan. So we're doing okay. Let's see, we've got, uh, each of us has one construction construction site built and we're going to six, like I said. So there we go. As I'm putting these out, by the way, uh, these coins are wonderful coins from Moedas & Co, a Brazilian company. They are extraordinary and I love using them for um, this game, Red Cathedral. They are for the game Marco Polo, but as far as like aesthetic and time period and even denominations, I think they work really well with this game. So Moedas & Co, quick shout out. I love, 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 love using their coins any chance I get. So we're moving the green die forward. One, two, no recognition to be gained there. And we're gonna move these four construction resources over to the construction card. My turn, what am I trying to get done here? All right, let's see, I've got, I'm gonna work my way up here. I will drop, I don't think I want to finish this. So I don't want Ivan to decorate that before I can finish it. So I'll put that there. I'll put this here and I'll put that there. How about that? So there's three resources delivered to the cathedral work site. And it's back to the uh, Ivan. One, two, three, four. Looks like he is going to get one recognition there. Roll that form. There you go. And we're going to uh, claim a section. So ideally a section above me. And I do see that there's one right here. So that would be his optimal spot. We go ahead and discard that, which I would have liked. I really like those dice workshop tiles, but that's his spot right there. Now it's back to me. So now I can get a whole bunch of clay. We're going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to get four clay. 
one, two, three, four. I also get a recognition for moving my green die. Excuse me, like so. And that puts me up to 20. Again, I can bring that back down for two coins. It's pretty good. And then I'll trade two of my clay in for, I hadn't thought this through the day. Um, was it a wood I needed? Well, it, it is a wood, but I also need these uh, purple gems. And those are harder to come by. So maybe purple would be the better uh, choice. I can get wood, hopefully, any other time. Whoops, I'm dropping all my stuff. All right, that's that. I think I did everything I had to, I'm pretty sure. All right, back to you. Yellow moves up one. Wow, he's getting all kinds of recognition from this quadrant of the board. I don't really like that. So there's one recognition for you, Ivan. Still a one. And what are you going to do? Get four more recognition. Good grief. 29. Look at that. It's close, but uh, he's pulling away from me here. Okay, so I know I need wood. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that doesn't quite get me there. I could also start working on maybe decorating some stuff. Uh, in order to do that, I need more stone. Stone to finish it, stone to decorate it. This one, I am shy, what, just a brick. Ooh, I could do this. So I could deliver a brick uh, to finish that and do a stone for a window and spend one of my gems to ornament it. That's only one um, uh, prestige, but that would be okay. Uh, although it is, it's a little unfortunate because I do have the green and purple to do that extra strong three prestige combo, but I'd have to have something that's already finished in order to pull that off. So I guess I'll, I'll just I'll just go with what I had in mind here. I don't see anything immediately that I want to do uh, instead. So I'm going to go ahead and head over here. I'm going to deliver the one brick to finish that. I'll spend one stone to build this window and I'll spend my green gem to add one prestige to that. So uh, a lot of things are happening right now, but let me go ahead and put my resources back where they belong here. Looks like I get two coins for that uh, cathedral section and five recognitions. So two rubles, boom, five recognition. All right, 25. Cool, that's that. And then I already spent this that goes there and I spent one gem to spruce it up and that brings me up to one more prestige. I'm glad I didn't go back to 19 because that would have uh, kept me away from one prestige point. So that's looking okay. Stick that right there. And Ivan's gonna move the red die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, it's getting two recognition this time. Of course, two, uh, two dice times one prestige. A recognition like that. All right, there we go. Any four resources? Let's take stone for a change this time. These stone are fairly, fairly. There's a surplus over there in the inventory. Like that. All right, and then Ivan's going to work on finishing that. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't uh, knock Ivan back one recognition for me completing before he did his bottom section. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. Yep, awesome. Now it's back to me. So. My inventory is getting very, very low. I've got the purple gem here. I need stone and I need two wood at this moment. Two wood and a stone. I don't see a good way I can get that stuff. I guess my white one, nope, that doesn't work either. Well, I think what I like to do in this scenario is just stall, right? Go work on something else. For example, that one looks like something I'd be interested in getting. I need to start kind of asserting myself on this big tower here. That's a lot of points potentially. So. Uh, why don't I go ahead and start working on that? I don't see why I wouldn't. Sure, and we'll let Ivan kind of move things around and hopefully set me up for something better. I've got this. I will spend two rubles to put that here, and that gives me one ruble back, so seems like a no-brainer. I love that engine building part of this game. And that's it for me. Ivan's going to move the white die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing happened in there. There you go. And Ivan's doing construction. Again, left to right, bottom to top. So that's going to put four resources right there. Finish that up. Ivan would get four rubles, but we don't count that. But he is getting eight on the recognition track, up to 38 all the way down there. There's a door that could be decorated, but we each only have one door. So uh, that will just remain undecorated. We each get one door, two windows, and one roof decoration, just so you know. So. That was the end of that, and it's back to me. So, this is going to be fairly contentious, I'm sure, this tower right there, but I'll worry about that later. Maybe I could keep my roof uh, decoration for that space right there. We'll see. I'm not too worried about it right now. So, 
I've got this. Let's see. I haven't changed that to a six for me. Four, five, six. That would give me a purple gem, but that's not what I want. I need wood and I need stone. For some reason, uh, nobody will let me get uh, either of those two things. So that's a bummer. I could drop off some stuff. I think maybe that's what I'll do. I've got uh, I've got this, this, this. I think I'll just do that. Again, I'm waiting for Ivan to kind of do something here. I'm not trying to trying to do anything before he does. So I'll go ahead and drop off these resources uh, like so. One there, one there. So I'm not finishing anything, just kind of working toward it. And there, that's my turn. Ivan's going to try to decorate a window. Of course, there is no window space he can do. So again, kind of a bummer for Ivan, but sorry about that. Let's go ahead and shuffle these up and move right along. All right, cool. Well, how's it looking so far? I hope I'm following the rules and rolling when I need to and not forgetting any small nuances about this game. It's 38 to uh, 28. So he's 10 recognition above me, three prestige, which is really all that matters at the end of the game. So he's three points ahead of me right now. Very interesting. It'll be interesting to see how this whole tower thing scores. This area majority thing is very interesting. It's not my favorite mechanism in games, but in a Euro game like this, I do really appreciate it. Look at that. Look, they're all, uh, the dice are all upside down. I mean, that's it's kind of interesting to me. <laughs> so we shuffled and Ivan's going to go ahead and just start off his uh, next cycle here. We're going to go one, two, three. Nothing happens here. And those four stone are going to go onto his construction card. Oh, Ivan, that didn't help me at all. One, two, three. I could get some gold, but what's gold going to do for me? Not much. I need a wood. I need a stone. I need a stone. I need a green gem. Those are the things I'm mostly looking for right now. Oh, green to stone. How did I not see that earlier? That's what I want. That's awesome. Cool. And green gets me a, a recognition. That doesn't hurt. I suppose that's not bad. I could also do some selling or buying. So let's do that. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, two stone. That's fantastic. And then I could deliver those two stone. I could also buy, let's see, I could buy my green gem. That would let me finish this and this on my next turn. That's awesome. A double build. That's huge. I'll pay two. I can do this as many times as I want, but I'll just spend two for the green gem. Oh, I do have another two coins. I could buy something. I'm not sure what I need right now, though. So I think I'll hold off for right now. Actually, if I want to decorate this window, I'm going to need stone. I'm going to need a gem because I want to do that before he does. I don't want to leave that open. So I think maybe I'll just buy a gem just ahead of time yeah because then he's gonna move that to here but then my six could move there and get three purple so actually never mind i am not gonna spend any because i think i'm gonna get a whole bunch on my next turn so ivan moving three one two three i saw that coming nothing happens there two ones all right and we are claiming a space now something above me ideally that looks like that would be his first choice Awesome, and it's back to me, and this is what I was hoping for. I've got the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is money right there. Awesome. Hey, I didn't get my um, uh, recognition today because I got my two stone. I did not because I remember saying I was at 28 earlier. So, all right, there we go. That gives me three purple wonderful gems. So I'm juggling them all over here. One, two, three. I love that. I can also do a little bit more buying. I don't think I need to do that. And moving a white die gives me what? One ruble. So do I want to buy anything or sell anything? Well, if I'm trying to decorate, it might help to have the, the green and the purple. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that. I'm not sure. Spend my two rubles for a green. I already have a green. That's okay. There we go. Ivan's moving this one space. It's getting another recognition. My goodness gracious. All the time. And four more. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, 43. We're going to go ahead and roll that. Try not to forget. There it is. And it's back to me. I think this is going to be my big delivery move. Are you all ready? I'm going to put one stone here and a stone and a green here. And that finishes both of those tiles, uh, cathedral sections. That gives me a total of three rubles. And it looks like nine recognition. Wow, I love it. One, two, three. Nine spaces up takes me to 38. That is awesome. Let's put these back where they belong. Like so, like so. And so. All right. And we're going to go ahead and flip these over. 
Looking good and looking good. All right, cool. I like that turn. All right, there's a window I need to hop on before Ivan does, and I need a stone to decorate that. Oof, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Ivan's moving this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll a one. Nope. There we go. No recognition there. Four resources. Go back to brick. Right on that spot. So I've got two turns to get a stone. Well, I got one one turn to get a stone and then one turn to decorate. I don't think it's going to happen, which means that would mean Ivan pretty much has a monopoly on that tower, which is not good because that's going to be what? Eight points at least if it gets finished. That's not good. How do I get stone? Moving a red die activates the green die. <gasps> oh, this is what's so awesome about this game. See, because I'm, I'm struggling to get to that stone. I mean, my dice aren't going to get me there. Uh, yeah, but moving my red die activates the green die so I can put this here. I love this. Get two wood. All right. I'm going to use that to activate my green die, which gives me two stone. And I suppose I could have spent two of the same for one wood, but I wouldn't want to spend my gems for that. Oh my gosh, I'm making such a mess. Two stone. And then do I want to do any kind of trading? I don't think so. I'm certainly not going to give up my valuable resources and I need wood. So I'm going to just ignore that part of the action. Uh, Ivan's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Another recognition. This is unbelievable. How many times has he landed in that corner? That is very bizarre. Uh, where was I? That was green. Yep. I better roll those now. And then Ivan's going to construct left to right, bottom to top. That would be four resources on this one and a leftover up here. Holy smokes. Wow, he's building. That's that and that's that. Ivan gets five more recognition 49. Like so, not bad. Ivan, that's impressive. Flip that over. And there you are, sir. Oh, that's not Banner's going the wrong way. We got my OCD in here. There we go. Awesome. And he started working on that top one, which is eight recognition. That's huge. All right. But here I am. Oh, you know what? I was excited to decorate that window uh, so that Ivan couldn't, but then he'll just decorate his own. But honestly, that is better. I, I, I need to make sure I've got this one down, right? Yeah. Again, it's that area control thing. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate that. That would be one stone for the window. And I think we're going to go for the... Uh, the extra spruce like that. Okay, it's going to give me three uh, prestige. And same as last time, before I do that, I'm going to bump back one to get two rubles like that. I'm going to deliver. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, decorate this window. I could do that one as well, but I think this is where I need to really uh, assert myself. So that and that and that. And this goes right here and gets me an additional three rep uh, prestige. One, two, three. Three, I'm catching up, Ivan. I'm catching up. That's my turn. Ivan is going to decorate this. That gives him one prestige, moves him up to 17. Uh, kind of lackluster again. And then we're going to shuffle these up. So, yeah. Like I said, at the end of the game, right, each tower scores uh, somebody, basically, uh, two points per each tower section completed, plus one point per um, decoration. And the way to assert influence to become the one who contributed the most, uh, it's just one point per banner, which means constructed section uh, and or decoration. So yeah, although it doesn't count, of course, if it's not constructed in that case. So anyway, yeah, we'll see how that goes. What I need to do is if I can cap off the uh, roof there, that'll give me a maximum influence on that tower. So again, kind of complicated. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played it. I'm not, uh, I'm gonna have to double check the rule book before I do scoring for sure, so. There we go. Ivan, you're going to move the green die. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Give it a roll. Nothing happening there. And moving all these over to there. All right. Let's see. So I've constructed what? Four things. Well, this could actually be wrapping up pretty quick. Uh, finished for that. I think that in this game, it is pretty strategic to just kind of rush to the end if you can. I don't want to just sit around and let Ivan you know, uh, activate all kinds of stuff. I just need to finish it and, and be done with it. So I would need a gold to finish that. And I just need a wood here. So I need one wood and one gold and then we're cruising. So how do I get gold? I could one, two, three, four. I could move this four, move it in extra space, spending one ruble. That would work. I could also, I need wood and gold. 
Well, let's see, moving blue to there would give me what? Six wood and I could trade in my two wood. That is the way I wanna do it, absolutely. And Ivan, oh, Ivan is trying to um, nab something though. And the only one to claim is this. Oh shoot, that means I need to claim this turn, but I really wanted to move that one there. That was the key. Oh shoot, oh man, okay. If I don't claim that, and he does, and then I go up there, which is more uh, uh, recognition, and I'm only one clay away from that. So I guess, I guess I'm okay with that, but then I need to pivot toward getting clay, which moving the uh, blue die gets me clay, so this is actually totally fine. So here I go, I'm gonna move this one space, I'm gonna get a clay, and then before I get my six wood, I'm going to go ahead and do this one time. I'm going to trade two wood for, honestly, I'm not really sure. I think I'll just go for green in case I can get a decoration in there. I'm not sure. And now I'm going to go ahead and cash and get my six wood. I can't hold six wood, but I can take, uh, I can take four. There we go. There we go. So that is everything I wanted to do. Roll this. That was a big old spot right there. Awesome. Okay, that's my turn. Ivan's gonna go one, two, three. Another recognition, of course. I don't know why this is happening so much. This is very bizarre. There you go. And Ivan's gonna claim the, uh, let's see. I think I get to choose because there are no bases left and there's nothing directly above me, but uh, the only one he could do is that one. That's his turn. And then I, well, I know Ivan's not going to claim anything else, so I'm not too worried about it, but I could just go ahead and hop on that unless I see anything else I really want to do. I don't see anything immediately important, so I think I'll go ahead and claim that and then start dumping all my resources over there. I think that's the idea. Sure. This goes here. I could pay four to go there, but that doesn't really make any sense at this point, so I will just choose not to do that. Put it face down so I don't replace that later. Not that I could. Like so, uh, that's my whole turn. Ivan's gonna move this one, two, three, four spaces. Nothing happens there. And Ivan gets four more recognition, 55. Back to me. Now, I just want to deliver stuff. So, I could decorate my own roof, actually. That might work out better. That might work out better, because I don't think, I don't know if Ivan's gonna finish this. Actually, no, I guess he will. Just depends how many turns we have left. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to deliver that. And how about two clay up to there? Actually, you know what? Hold that thought. I should finish that top one. That would make more sense to set back Ivan a tiny bit. So there's one, two, three. I get seven recognition to 51. And Ivan's going to lose one since I built a section above him like that. So that goes away and i'm flipping this guy over and i'm off to the roof awesome that's my turn i got my seven recognition ivan's moving this one space another recognition always a recognition with this guy i feel like i'm gonna if i end up losing it'll be because of that maybe and then let's see what's it gonna do game four resources like so and I wish I could have ended this game like one turn earlier because then Ivan wouldn't be able to do this last construct, which could kind of make or break it. So, <sighs> well, the good news is he'll have ended the game building only four things and I'll have built all six of my things. So I'm not too worried about that. All right, for the roof. Oh, I need a gold for the roof. Oh, shoot. What was I doing over here? Oh, I should get a gold. Yeah, whoops. Hmm, because the only decoration I have left is a gold. Delivering is just going to be one wood to there. And ideally, I'd deliver a wood and a gold and a gem to get at least one more prestige point. Oh, shoot. Hmm. I really want a gold. I don't think it's going to, like, break the game if I, if I spend one turn getting gold. Will it? No, because he won't get to decorate this anyway, which is actually awesome. That's actually really great. So I'm going to go ahead and stall one turn and see if I can find a way to get some gold. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That could probably do it. That'll do it because then I can trade stuff. 
So yeah, I'll do that. So here goes my blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna get four clay in a second. I need to keep one wood nearby. So I think what I'll do is trade in two of the same, one, two, to get a gold. And then I'm about to get four brick, which I can hold four brick. And actually moving my blue die gives me another brick, but I'm not gonna take that, so I don't have the room. So that'll be that. That's my weird stall tactic turn. Like so. All right, we're wrapping up to the end here. Ivan's going one, two, three, four, five. Nothing happening there. I should re-roll that though. There you go. And Ivan's gonna go ahead and build. Let's see, this one first, and then this one second. So eight recognition, a 63. Holy smokes, that was a big one. That was a big one. And right now, as it stands, let's see. This uh, tower is currently worth uh oh boy 10 points no uh eight points right now right and i have one two three markers on it ivan only has two so i am going to get the full eight points and then ivan i believe gets a third of that rounded down to so two points i think is where we're at again i'll double check that in a second but not to worry about it i'm going to go ahead and complete uh this and decorate it and then ivan even though he has a roof decoration, which could give him a tie on this tower, is not going to play. He can't play this until this is played. So that is humongous for me. I'm just going to go ahead and put my wood here and my gold here. And I'll decorate with purple like that. So that'll give me one prestige. Should I move this down first? Probably not. No, I'm not going to because, well, you'll see why in a second. I'm going to pay that, that, that. That finishes this one off right here because I'm going to get my seven recognition 58. So I wouldn't have wanted to bring that down at all like that. And then I already paid my gold and my uh, purple gem to put the tower on top, which moves me one more. So it's actually very close right now. We're only two points, uh, prestige points away. That's awesome. That was my turn. Uh, Ivan cannot put this window anywhere, which is a huge bummer for Ivan. He was close to having that one finished, but didn't happen, but he does get to take that one last turn. By the way, in a solo game, nobody gets those uh, end game triggering three points. If you were wondering why that wasn't happening, that's why. Okay. All right. So, Ivan, what are you going to do with your last turn? Probably get, you know, recognition, I'm sure. Red die? No, maybe not. Boom, 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 boom. He's going to move one, two, three. No recognition there, like so. And then... Uh, moving these to there. So that is Ivan's last turn, and we are ready for some endgame scoring. All right, before we score, quick mulligan on the play. That last thing I did was decorate that roof, right? I put it here. That makes no sense. I already have the majority there. Um, so this should be there, naturally. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, but that's where my uh, steeple thing should go. So that's that. And then at the end of the game, of course, I take uh, one prestige for every five materials and rubles added together. So I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then three left. So that's two more prestige. Boom! We are tied. I'll clean that up later. And then let's look at these towers. So bear with me. This gets a little strange. Each tower is worth two points per completed section plus one point per ornament. That's the value, right? So we've got two, four, six, seven, eight. So eight points for whoever contributed the most. I did one, two, three contributions, and Ivan did one, two. So I get the full eight points, eight prestige, I should say. So I'm going from 24 all the way to 32, and then Ivan gets one third of that. In a two player game, they take a third, which is really harsh. Uh, uh, a third rounded down, by the way. So that's only, what, two points for Ivan. One, two, that is brutal. The next one. Uh, is worth two, four, five, five uh, prestige. Now I've got one, two you know, influence there and Ivan only has one. So I get the full five, 37. Ivan gets that divided by three. Again, rounded down is one. This next tower with my uh, steeple there at the top is two, four, six, seven, eight points total. I have one, two, three things on there. Ivan only has one two we don't count this because it's not finished so again i get the full eight points let's see that takes me around to 45 so i'll switch this over to the plus 40 side and ivan again is only getting two points for that one two 
And then lastly, this one is worth two, four, and five. I have two influence things. He only has one. So I get five additional points there. And then Ivan gets one. So it looks like that's what we're ending with. A final score of what? 40 plus 10. I got 50 to 30. That is a pretty decisive victory. That was uh, awesome. I, I don't... I don't think you usually play that well, but I think this worked out really well. I didn't get to do as much as he wanted to, and I just got lucky with uh, some of the way things came out. So there you go, final score of 50. And that was the Red Cathedral solo. With a final score of 50, I'm gonna go ahead and donate $50 to the Eden Myanmar Anti-Trafficking Organization, which is a not-for-profit that's been around for over 10 years, working to give rescued human trafficking victims skills and opportunities which reduce the risks of being re-trafficked. Their programs are based in Southeast Asia, which is a host to more than half of the global total of human trafficking victims. These programs include outreach, drop-in centers, emergency shelters, community education, and trauma counseling. You can find out more about the Eden Project in the description down below. I should point out that the charity for this week was recommended by Emma, who is a longtime follower and supporter of this channel, and her and her husband David actually recently sent Hannah and I the most wonderful package, sort of as a happy engagement uh, gift, and I was absolutely uh, all shocked and 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 mind blown by the contents of this package this wonderful card that david illustrated of me and hannah with our feast for odin mugs and our uh stone age art up there and tim tams and tea and vegemite and these wonderful seashells and feathers from australia by the way which is where they live and this extraordinary hand-painted boomerang there was just there's just so much inside here and i loved it so much we uh really enjoyed opening this up and taking a look at everything inside there so thank you so much Emma for not only these wonderful uh, gifts and treasures, but also for recommending the Eden Project for this week's video. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough and I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care and happy gaming. Bye.